And the article reads, and I quote, But perhaps Mr. Winch does really take his new responsibilities seriously. The fact is that Group W Enterprises now has a chairman whose only apparent recommendation is that he is the son of Nerio Winch. A young man better acquainted with bar rooms than board rooms. Well, technically that last line is true. I once added up all the bars we've been in. 685. And board rooms, what, five, six maybe? 685 bars? Yep. You've actually counted the number of bars you've been to? I like statistics. And this guy's supposed to be a respected journalist. He's never even spoken to me. Well, look, he obviously spoke to somebody at Group W because he has information only an insider would know. Oh, and uh, by the way, that dramatic photo of you on the magazine cover, you look like you sat on a pineapple. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I gotta go. Keep smiling, buddy. Marco, I'd like you to meet the Reverend George Travers from World Rescue International. I'm glad to finally meet you, Reverend. I think your organization does a fantastic job. We're grateful for your support, Mr. Winch. And your offer to ship our containers cost for has saved us millions. Well, we both benefit from the association, Reverend. We do a lot of business in Africa. And a special thanks should go to Eric Daniel. He runs the container shipping division here in Paris. you get this number? Well, it's a little late to be checking up facts, isn't it? I'm sorry, Mr. Winch, if you were offended by my article. But right now, there's something more important we need to talk about. Certain information has been made available to me that is potentially very damaging to Group W. It would be in your best interest to meet with me. What kind of information? I'll only discuss it in person. Where? I'll be there. Who is that? Luc Guimond, the SOB who wrote the stupid article. He wants to talk, and I'm more than willing to give him a piece of my mind. Largo? Look at me, Reverend. I'm glad to have met you. Largo, don't make things worse. Who's there? Monsieur Guimont? Hello? Monsieur Guimont? Deleting it all, don't worry. No, I've looked everywhere. He must have hidden the information. I told you I will find it. The cops are here, I have to go.
on my office, sir. I, want, I keep a guy in here for now, okay? Yeah, Inspector, yeah, yes. The search team is still looking for the perpetrator. Yeah, is the weapon at the lab yet? Mm, no. And the car? Registered to the Group W Corporation. We're checking on it. Perhaps it belongs to one of the executives. Get some more sample. Shoot. Well, I, I didn't think anyone was here. I just... I needed this. Sorry. I just... I don't like guns pointed at me. are after me for, for something I didn't. I am not jealous. I simply find it embarrassing to sit in a restaurant with a man who flirts with all the waitresses and ogles every woman who walks by. Excuse me, I do not ogle. Oh, really? I observe. I'm an observer of life. All right, well, observe life with someone else from now on. Oh, that's so typical. You have to be the center of attention. Thank you. Bad news from Sullivan in Paris. What? What happened? It's Largo. He's missing. And he's wanted for murder. We better go. <sighs> Should have been there from the start. Hey, don't blame yourself. He's the one that insisted on going without security. We all need the occasional break from a big sister. thing I know about Largo, he always lands on his feet. Why did I let him talk me into not taking you with him? Look, he's a big boy. He doesn't like somebody staring over his shoulder all the time. You wanted to go, he said no. He can be so stubborn sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't get it. You don't get what? Why do women always want to take care of him? What is it, that maternal thing? Why are you asking me? Well, you're a woman, right? And you want to take care of him. I'm paid to take care of him. Yeah, but you gotta admit, he's got this effect on women. Well, why don't you ask the women he has the effect on? You're not one of them? I work for him. 
Yeah, but if it didn't work for him. Are you trying to piss me off? You didn't answer my question. It was a stupid question. I just want to know what women see in him. You want to know what women see in him? Yeah. He's not you. Kerensky. Good timing. No kidding. I've got an update on Largo, and it's not good. What? Largo didn't just shoot this Gimon character. He also wounded a cop. Oh my God. No way. That's a bunch of crap. Hey, I'm just the messenger. Cops in critical condition, and the French police don't take too kindly to one of their own being hurt. They put out a special bulletin. Largo is to be apprehended by any means necessary. Any means. Which means? If we don't get to him before they do, he's as good as dead. Yeah. Police think the motive for the crime was Guimond's unflattering portrait of Mr. Winch in the current issue of Inside Look magazine. In it, Winch was described as an erratic and irresponsible adventurer out of his depth in the corporate world. Meanwhile, the officer wounded by the suspect is in stable condition in the hospital. The manhunt continues, and police have little to... I may be erratic and irresponsible, but I'm not a murderer. Well, if you didn't do it, then why are you running? The police think I shot one of their own. When that happens, they shoot first and ask questions later. Here's the proof. I need to find out what really happened. I won't get that if I'm in a morgue. Please don't. They're beautiful. I have to have some beauty in here. Why'd you let me stay? I recognized you. See you on television. Then you haven't been keeping up with the news. Talking about the Luke e. Moore article. That's not news, it's just cheap gossip. Believe me, I know a thing or two about cheap gossip. You look familiar. Have we met? No. I've seen you. A picture, maybe. What's her name? Celine Duquette. Celine Duquette. Wait a minute. Weren't you a model? Yeah, yeah, remember now. You were in all the magazine covers. And then there was an accident. No, it wasn't an accident. That's right. There was an attack by a stalker. Look, Celine, I'm gonna try to contact some friends. Can I stay for a while longer? Yeah. So there was a lot of shooting. How do we know Largo wasn't hurt? Or worse? We don't. If he was shot, they'd have found him. He's fine. You don't know that. Yellow. Yes, this is Sergeant Van Pizza. I'm calling to confirm delivery. Sergeant Van Pizza? Yes, the address we have is 63 Rue Menon. Oh, yeah, yeah. 63 Rue Mona. That's, that's correct. That's uh, right across the street from the park. I'll be there in 30 minutes or it's free. 30 minutes or it's free. Very good. I like it. There was a woman. Same old Largo. See if that cop was following us. Ah, uh, you worried too much. Oh, really? 63? That's the address, but I bet it's in the park. Better lines of sight. You know, that actually makes sense. That happens sometimes. to appreciate beauty? You've never ogled a handsome guy before? Women don't ogle men. Oh, come on. 
Women are worse than men, and while we're at it, how about women giving other women the ones over? You know, that, that cold, what she got glare that drives men to join the Foreign Legion. Face it, Simon, you're not tough enough to be a girl. He's got to be here somewhere. He is. How can you tell? Ligo's got big feet. Size 13s. He also has big hands. Oh. So you have been open him. He's my boss. I notice things. Yeah, right. Like shoe size. Sergeant Vane, pizza girl. <laughs> Just someone who's been helping me. Mm -hmm. Look, guys, I didn't kill anybody. We know that. So who did? I saw him, but... Mid-30s, 5'11", not a professional. He was scared to death. He was talking to someone on the phone, so he wasn't acting alone. What's this all about? Luke Mon called me, said he had information about Group W. Serious enough that he wanted me to see it. The killer was deleting files from his computer. And he had been searching for something. The place was totally upside down. So he's searching for a disc? That's my guess. Whatever it was, he didn't get it. Unless the police turned it up, it's still there. We'll find it. If we get the chance. What do you mean? Look. Oh, I worry too much, huh? Okay, okay. 